The City of Cape Town Safety and Social Services Portfolio Committee meeting started off on the wrong foot this morning when the leader of the ANC in council, Golani Sotashi, accused the chair of wasting his time. Sotashi says he had made prior arrangements to make a presentation at the sitting, but the chair made a ruling this morning that he could not. On the sidelines of the meeting, Sotaji spoke to the media accusing Mayor Patricia DeLille of using taxpayers' money for upgrades to her home. Yesterday, the DA's Musi Maimani suspended DeLille and J.P. Smith from all party activities pending an investigation into their fallout. All right, let's get more now on the story. We crossed our reporter, Nomoweto Sowande. She's standing outside DeLille's home in Cape Town. Uh, Nomoweto, good afternoon to you. So a bit, of, uh, a bit of a misunderstanding or a bit of a delay to that uh, portfolio uh, meeting this morning. Uh, tell us uh, what's happening now. You're outside DeLille's house. A very good afternoon to you, Natasha. Indeed, we are outside Mayor Patricia Dill's house here in Cape Town. Um, after that portfolio, well, ANC members moved out of that portfolio committee this morning. They said they would come and do inspections here at Patricia Dill's house after accusing her of lying to the public and to council um, to say that she had actually used money out of her own pocket to do upgrades here here at her home. So um, about four ANC members actually came to do the inspection here and they've noticed um, at least 13 cameras that are installed here at her home and they say that they actually have the proof in black and white to show that the mayor had actually used taxpayers' money. But Mr. Kolani Sotashi actually joins me now to tell us more about um, what you told you or you were about to actually tell council today and you didn't just tell us more why you are going to make presentations this morning well uh, this matter of the renovations here it's a uh, of a public interest so we wanted really to detect the effects from the truth because the fact is taxpayers money has been misused here by uh, mayor patricia delil she lied with straight face saying that uh, she used her money to upgrade her private residence this is not a council's property it's her property and um, now we've got proof here i've got documentation with me where a provision of uh, close to a million rand over 700,000 was budgeted for the overall uh, upgrades of uh, her house. Um, the, we are told that there is a report. We have not seen that report in terms of the risk management assessment at this private residence here. So uh, we want to see where is this proof where she's saying that she paid from her own pocket. Because here there are a lot of uh, service providers who have invoiced the city of Cape Town for the work done here in the private residence of the mayor. So this is a, a violation of the supply chain management policy. This is a violation of the Municipal Finance Management Act. And uh, this is a violation of um, accounting principles. Uh, how can the first citizen of the city of Cape Town lie to the public with straight face that um, the city did not spend a cent in terms of the upgrades here? We have counted 13 CCTV cameras here. Um, we didn't get an access to get inside, but we're just counting from outside uh, in front. So we don't know how, in overall how many CCTV cameras that are installed here. Now, Mr. Sotasha, you actually spoke um, on the sidelines of that meeting to the media. Just inside, obviously, the chair had actually said that you can't make your submissions today. Tell us more about the fact that you, you actually had consulted him and the interesting fact that um, Alderman J.P. Smith actually agreed that you should be allowed to make those submissions. Yes, um, look, the, the rules of counsel, uh, if you are not a member of the portfolio committee, you make an arrangement with the chairperson of the portfolio committee, of which I did. I'm not a member of the uh, Safety and Social Services Portfolio Committee. So what I did, I contacted the chairperson of the Portfolio Committee. I told him that, look, I've got an interest on this matter between uh, the mayor and, and, and J.P. Smith. Mine is not about their fights. Mine is about the issue of the taxpayers' money because we want to prove as ANC that taxpayers' money has been misused here. And uh, he agreed. And I don't know what happened between uh, the time that I arrived there and then when the time I left home. Because when I arrived there, he distorted everything, saying that I can't make submission and I must ask the ANC councillor to speak on my behalf. I told him that the rules allow us as councillors of the, of the council to address any portfolio committee, but we must follow a certain process. I think he has been intimidated. I think he got a cold feet. 
Very briefly, Mr. Satasha, before we wrap up, where to from here? You said you are going to be mobilizing community members to come and picket here. Yes, what we are going to do now, the next step now, we're going to approach the Office of the Public Protector, giving them this whole information that investigation must be done here because we can't trust the administration. We can't trust the same thieves to investigate themselves. So we will ask the public protector to do the investigation. Secondly, we will go to the society, in particular the Marikana community, because yesterday we were there. We know what happened in Marikana. Ten people have been killed there. The cry for that community was that they, they only need lighting in that community. And there is no high mass light. I mean, if you can spend 700,000 just to an individual, the whole community is suffering on the other side. So we will mobilize people to come here and picket here. All we want, we want the mayor to pay back the taxpayers' money. We're not going to rest until she pays back that money because she lied. Well, thank you very much for your time. Well, that was the ANC leader in council here in the city of Cape Town, Mr. Kolani Sotashe, telling us more about um, the allegations that have been made against the mayor that she actually used um, taxpayers' money to pay for the upgrades to her home. For now, it's back to you in the studio, Natasha. Normal thank you so much for that. Normal also one day live from Cape Town.